All right, I'm going to show you a way to use two different pieces of Microsoft AI at the same time. The best part is this is free and just about anyone can use it. And it covers manual tasks that we all do literally every single day. All right, let's jump into it. So uh, if you're new here, what's going on? My name is Jordan Wilson, and this is our AI in five. So uh, I host Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping us all learn and leverage generative AI. So we do a little AI in five almost every single day, just teaching you a different way to use AI to grow your company and career. So uh, here I'm going to look at two quick ways that you can use different AI systems within Microsoft. So first, it's using Bing's new and improved deep search. So uh, if you ever go to Bing, there's actually a couple different things that you might not know. So uh, in this quick example, I'm gonna I'm just putting in best podcast growth tips in 2024, right? Like I have a daily podcast. I'm always trying to grow it. Uh, thanks to you all, we're normally a, a top 20, top 10 uh, tech podcast on Spotify, but I'm always looking for new ways uh, to grow the podcast. So uh, I can just click enter. Uh, and do a normal Bing search. Actually, I think this, it, like Microsoft made it a little harder to use its regular search engine because there's not even a, a button that you can click to click search. Because if I actually click the button that's on my screen, it actually just launches Copilot, which in this uh, instance is not really even what I want to do. So I have to just hit enter on my keyboard. So FYI, if you want the normal uh, chat, or sorry, the normal search experience, uh, it's a little tricky. All right, so normally, um, I'm, I'm zoomed in a little bit here, but if you are on a smaller screen or if you are zoomed in your browser, you might completely miss this new feature. Um, so right now, you don't see it. So on the top, uh, look in the upper bar here, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit on my browser. And I am using um, the edge browser. And I'll tell you why here in a second, but this first part, uh, works even no matter what browser you're using. So if I zoom out, uh, you'll see here in a second. So now I have the copilot, uh, bar or banner. So I can launch this exact same, uh, term in copilot. But if I zoom out a little bit more, you'll see, I have this option here called deep search. All right. So, uh, this is essentially, uh, Microsoft's equivalent of uh, perplexity, kind of. It works a little bit different. So let's just go ahead and click this and watch it go. So it does open a new tab, but it brings in the same query. And now it's essentially redoing the entire search, but doing it more in a, almost like a chain of thought sort of way. So it's going through much like perplexity does, depending on uh, your search term and how you're asking it. It tries to better understand your query and give you uh, more relevant and practical results. Uh, so as an example right now, this is what it thinks that I want by searching for best podcast growth tips in 2024. It thinks that I want podcast growth strategies, right? So these results here now looks a little bit different than if I click back here um, and go into the normal uh, Bing search. So you'll see here, I now have different uh, kind of related searches here on the left-hand side. Um, and a couple other things that are different if I scroll down. Well, I'm obviously getting different different results as well, just different results in general. Uh, but, but here's where uh, I think it's especially helpful. Uh, you can just click one of these other suggested uh, kind of queries, right? So again, uh, what this deep search is trying to do is it's trying to take more of a perplexity approach and understand what you are actually searching for. So it's doing a deep search. So now if I click this, and I select this one, it's going to, um, and you'll notice it keeps the same search query, which is important. Uh, however, now I chose the option for podcasting trends 2024. All right. So now you'll see, I get uh, completely different, uh, search results, different related searches here on the left-hand side, uh, different people also asked, uh, et cetera. So now here is uh, where we can take this to the next level. Uh, and I like this trick. So for this part, you do have to be using the Microsoft Edge browser, which I'm a big fan of. It's based on Chromium. Uh, so all your Chrome extensions and Chrome data, you can port over if you sign in. All right, so now I'm just going to click this little uh, Copilot banner bar. Uh, I always just click the refresh just, to, just in case. So now at the bottom, in the bottom right-hand corner here, 
Um, and I know not everyone has this option, right? So you might have to try, if you have like a work account and you don't see this option, try logging into uh, kind of a free account of Microsoft Edge or a non-work account because by default, sometimes this option is not available. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this page. And at first, I'm just gonna say, please summarize this page. Okay, so now the cool thing is, is I'm actually stacking different AI uh, systems or techniques on top of each other because I'm using the Copilot sidebar banner to actually chat with the results of the AI powered deep search feature from Microsoft. So uh, again, now I could, without having to go in and, and click on all of these different, um, you, you know, all of these different terms and, um, you, you know, pages, which could take a ton of time. So now I can just have a conversation. So, um, so now I'm going to say, you, you know, based on, and I can even hit at and put this page, I'm going to say, please give me a, a five step, um, audit process to grow my podcast. I'm going to say, be short and specific focusing on tactics that work in 2024 as an example. So now again, I could spend a ton of time going through, even just looking at these headlines and the descriptions, uh, reason, uh, reading these, et cetera. But when I kind of combine uh, the deep search functionality of Bing, as well as this co-pilot sidebar, I mean, this is a huge time saver. So uh, again, to recap, uh, all you have to do is uh, make sure you might not see this, the deep search at the top. You might have to zoom out or resize your browser. That's number one. And then number two, in the upper right-hand corner, clicking the co-pilot banner um, and then using the page from the drop-down menu here using the page that you are currently on. So uh, that's a very quick and easy way that I think you can save a ton of time and get a lot more out of your research. Uh, by using generative AI, it's all about how can I save a couple of minutes, maybe every day or a couple of minutes every single hour and get more out of those minutes. So this is an easy way. Uh, if this was helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Also, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.